So the question is, are the, is the Sabbath and the commandments uh, going to be reinstituted at the end? Are we going to have those at the end? And the, law. and the law. So when you say the law, what exactly are you referring to? I saw, okay, so, okay, so we're talking about kind of two laws then. We're talking about the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not, and so on, have no other gods before me, right? And then it goes down, the Fourth Commandment is the Sabbath, then it goes into the relationship with man, we don't, we're not going to commit adultery, murder, and steal, and, and covet, and all those things. So the question is, are those going to be intact at the end? And then the question is, what about the other ones? Okay, so let's, let's look at this. This question is another one that gets me into trouble. But, however, I'm, I'm done with being politically correct, so I'm starting to just give the answers. You know, you can like it or leave it. This is the way it is. There's a law about lepers. That if this happens, then you do this, and then you bring a sacrifice and, and all this kind of stuff. I totally believe there won't be any need for that because it's not going to be any more pain, there's not going to be any more sickness, it's not going to be sorrow, crying, all that kind of stuff. Any laws that in re are in regard to a fallen world, a sin-sick world, and most of the Torah, if we were honest with ourselves, most of the Torah is for a sin-sick world. How can we survive? I mean, they had health laws. They had all kinds of, you know, if there's mold in the house, destroy the house. I mean, there's all kinds of laws that we would have to, uh, we weren't, aren't going to need. It's going to be pure. There's going to be nothing that, it says nothing that defiles. Okay? That's in us and everything. So in, in answer to that, if, if you went through, and I understand there's 600 or 613 <laughs> laws in the Torah, if you were going to go through there, and I'm still at a challenge with myself, I'm going to go through and I'm going to have every one of those laws, and I'm going to go out with that one, that one stays. Out with that one, that one stays. Not today, because we're still in that time where we need some of those laws, right? But in that time, most of the Torah will be gone. And Yeshua even said that himself. He says, not one jot or till by my, will by no means pass in law until all is fulfilled. So that tells you that some of this is going to be gone. And it makes perfect sense when you start going through them one at a time. 